All right, now let's get into the playing of the great Freddie King. Freddie King was born in 1934 in Texas and is a little younger than his King contemporaries, Albert and Vivi. And part of that uh, you can hear in his playing. Being a little younger, he has a little bit more youthful vibrance in his playing and was influenced a little more by the changes in musical styles through the 60s. So Freddie really is responsible for a progression in the sound of modern blues guitar. As a teenager, Freddie spent a lot of time in Chicago and learned about blues directly uh, at the feet of blues greats like Howlin' Wolf, who be he became good friends with, and Muddy Waters. He also befriended Muddy Waters guitar player Jimmy Rogers, and he learned a great amount from him. Uh, Freddie had a string of very successful instrumentals that he recorded in the early 60s. Uh, songs like Hideaway and Sensation and San Jose and those recordings went on to become very influential on guys like Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix and the whole blues rock era. Though there's a lot of B.B. King in Freddie King's style, he did create a sound all of his own and it's earmarked by fast biting licks and incredible intensity. Uh, he also modernized the blues and the style of the blues in his seminal early 70s Shelter recordings that were produced by Leon Russell where he took the blues into new territory via funkier grooves and uh, sophisticated chord changes. Freddie used finger picks to play. He used one thumb pick and one finger pick and he played very loud all of the time. He was known for using a Fender Quad reverb amplifier, very unusual amplifier uh, that I believe is a 200 watt amp with four 12 inch speakers in it, the same amp favored by the great Albert Collins. Uh, he relied on Gibson 345 and 355 guitars primarily and he strung his guitars with very light strings and he did something very unusual. The top three strings of his guitar were a 10, an 11, and a 12. So the 10 is normal but the next two strings for the B and the G, very very light, allowed him to get a very expressive sound and again he relied greatly on expressive string bending. Freddie King recorded a great many instrumental tracks that are hard driving in different grooves and he played shuffles and just hard driving straight 4-4 four, four grooves as well. This next example would be one of those that's played along the lines of the track Sensation. <laughs> 